In the middle of the night, I cried out, Who lives in this love I have? You said, I do, but I'm not here alone. Why are these other images with me? I said, they are reflections of you, just as the beautiful inhabitants of Chigil and Turkestan resemble each other. You said, but who is this other living being? That is my wounded soul. Then I brought that soul to you as a prisoner. This one is dangerous, I said. Don't let him off easy. He winked and gave me one end of a delicate thread. Pull it tight, but don't break it. I reached my hand to touch you. You struck it down. Why are you so harsh with me? For good reason, but certainly not to keep you away. Whoever enters this place saying, Here I am, must be slapped. This is not a pen for sheep. There are no separating distances here. This is love's sanctuary. Saladin is how the soul looks. Rub your eyes and look again with love at love. You said, who's at the door? I said, your slave. You said, what do you want? To see you and bow. How long will you wait until you call? How long will you cook till the resurrection? We talked through the door. I claimed a great love and that I had given up what the world gives to be in that love. You said, such claims require a witness. I said, this longing, these tears. You said, discredited witnesses. I said, surely not. You said, who did you come with? The majestic imagination you gave me. Why did you come? The musk of your wine was in the air. What is your intention? Friendship. What do you want from me? Grace. Then you asked, Where have you been most comfortable? In the palace. What did you see there? Amazing things. Then why is it so desolate? Because all that can be taken away in a second. Who can do that? This clear discernment. Where can you live safely then? In surrender. What is this giving up? A peace that saves us. Is there no threat of disaster? Only what comes in your street, inside your love. How do you walk there? In perfection. Now silence. If I told more of this conversation, those listening would leave themselves. There would be no door no roof or window either. Don't run around this world looking for a hole to hide in. There are wild beasts in every cave. If you live with mice, the cat claws will find you. The only real rest 
comes when you're alone with God. Live in the nowhere that you came from. Even though you have an address here, that's why you see things in two ways. Sometimes you look at a person and see a cynical snake. Someone else sees a joyful lover. And you are both right. Everyone is half and half, like the black and white ox. Joseph looked ugly to his brothers and most handsome to his father. You have eyes that see from that nowhere and eyes that judge distances, how high and how low. You own two shops and you run back and forth. Try to close the one that's a fearful trap, getting always smaller. Checkmate this way, checkmate that. Keep open the shop where you're not selling fish hooks anymore. You are the free swimming fish. Think that you're gliding out from the face of a cliff like an eagle. Think you are walking like a tiger walks by himself in the forest. You are most handsome when you're after food. Spend less time with nightingales and peacocks. One is just a voice, the other just a color. No more wine for me. I am past delighting in the thick red and the clear white. I am thirsty for my own blood as it moves into a field of action. Draw the keenest blade you have and strike until the head circles about the body. Make a mountain of skulls like that. Split me apart. Don't stop at the mouth. Don't listen to anything I say. I must enter the center of the fire. Fire is my child, but I must be consumed and become fire. Why is there crackling and smoke? Because the firewood and the flames are still talking. You are too dense. Go away. You are too wavering. I have solid form. In the blackness, those two friends keep arguing, like a wanderer with no face, like the most powerful bird in existence, sitting on its perch, refusing to move. What can I say to someone so curled up with wanting, so constricted in his love, Break your pitcher against a rock. We don't need any longer to haul pieces of the ocean around. We must drown away from heroism and descriptions of heroism. Like a pure spirit lying down, pulling its body over it. Like a bride, her husband for a cover to keep her warm. Someone who goes with half a loaf of bread to a small place that fits like a nest around him. Someone who wants no more, who's not himself longed for by anyone else. He is a letter to everyone. You open it. It says, live. The mystery does not get clear by repeating the question. Nor is it bought with going to amazing places. Until you've kept your eyes and you're wanting still for 50 years, you don't begin to cross over from confusion.
you are sitting here with us, but you are also out walking in a field at dawn. You are yourself, the animal we hunt when you come with us on the hunt. You are in your body, like a plant solid in the ground, yet you are wind. You are the diver's clothes lying empty on the beach. You are the fish. In the ocean are many bright strands and many dark strands, like veins that are seen when a wing is lifted up. Your hidden self is blood in those, those veins that are looped strings that make ocean music, not the sad edge of surf, but the sound of no shore. When it's cold and raining, you are more beautiful, and the snow brings me even closer to your lips. The inner secret, that which was never born, you are that freshness, and I am with you now. I can't explain the goings or the comings. You enter suddenly, and I am nowhere again, inside the majesty. A Sufi was wandering the world. One night, he came as a guest to a community of Sufis. He tied up his donkey in the stable and then was welcomed to the head of the dice. They went into deep meditation and mystical communion, he and these friends. For such people, a person's presence is more to learn from than a book. A Sufi's book is not composed with ink and alphabet. A scholar loves and lives on the marks of a pen. A Sufi loves footprints. He sees those and stalks his game. At first, he sees the clues. After a time, he can follow the scent. To go guided by fragrance is a hundred times better than following tracks. A person who is opening to the divine is like a door to a Sufi. What might appear a worthless stone to others, to him is a pearl. You see your image clearly in a mirror, a sheikh sees more than that in a discarded brick. Sufi masters are those whose spirits existed before the world. Before the body, they lived many lifetimes. Before seeds went into the ground, they harvested wheat. Before there was an ocean, they strung pearls. While the great meeting was going on about bringing human beings into existence, they stood up to their chins in wisdom water. When some of the angels opposed creation, the Sufi sheikhs laughed and clapped among themselves. Before materiality, they knew what it was like to be trapped inside matter. Before there was a night sky, they saw Saturn. Before wheat grains, they tasted bread. With no mind, they thought. Immediate intuition to them is the simplest act of consciousness, what to others would be epiphany. 
much of our thought is of the past or the future. They are free of those. Before a mine is dug, they judge coins. Before vineyards, they know the excitements to come. In July, they feel December. In unbroken sunlight, they find shade. In Fana, the state where all objects dissolve, they recognize objects. The open sky drinks from their circling cup. The sun wears the gold of their generosity. When two of them meet, they are no longer two. They are one and six hundred thousand. The ocean waves are their closest likeness, when wind makes from unity the numerous. This happened to the sun, and it broke into rays through the window, into bodies. The disk of the sun does exist, but if you see only the ray bodies, you may have doubts. The human divine combination is a oneness, plurality, the apparent separation into rays. Friend, we are traveling together. Throw off your tiredness. Let me show you one tiny spot of the beauty that cannot be spoken. I am like an ant that's gotten into the granary, ludicrously happy and trying to lug out a grain that is way too big. Little by little, wean yourself. This is the gist of what I have to say. From an embryo whose nourishment comes in the blood, move to an infant drinking milk, to a child on solid food, to a searcher after wisdom, to a hunter of more invisible game. Think how it is to have a conversation with an embryo. You might say, the world outside is vast and intricate. There are wheat fields and mountain passes, and orchards in bloom. At night there are millions of galaxies, and in sunlight, the beauty of friends dancing at a wedding. You ask the embryo why he or she stays cooped up in the dark with eyes closed. Listen to the answer. There is no other world. I only know what I've experienced. You must be hallucinating. My worst habit is I get so tired of winter, I become a torture to those I am with. If you are not here, nothing grows. I lack clarity. My words tangle and knot up. How to cure bad water? Send it back to the river. How to cure bad habits? Send me back to you. When water gets caught in habitual whirlpools, dig a way out through the bottom to the ocean. There is a secret medicine given only to those who hurt so hard 
they can't hope. The hopers would feel slighted if they knew. Look as long as you can at the friend you love, no matter whether that friend is moving away from you or coming back toward you. Don't let your throat tighten with fear. Take sips of breath all day and night before death closes your mouth. every gathering, in any chance meeting on the street, there is a shine, an elegance rising up. Today I recognized that that jewel-like beauty is the presence, our loving confusion, the glow in which watery clay gets brighter and fire, the one we call the friend. As elephants remember India perfectly. As mind dissolves. As song begins. As the glass fills. Wind rising, a room full of conversation, a sanctuary of prostration, a bird lights on my hand in this day born of friends, an ocean covering everything. All roads opening, a person changing to kindness, no one reasonable, religious jargon forgotten, and Saladin there raising his hand to bid on the bed-raggled boy, Joseph. This is now, now is, don't postpone till then, spend the spark of iron on stone, sit at the head of the table, dip your spoon in the bowl, seat yourself next to your joy and have your awakened soul pour wine branches in the spring wind, easy dance of jasmine and cypress. Cloth for green robes has been cut from pure absence. You are the tailor, settled among his shop goods, quietly sewing.
this marriage be wine with halva, honey dissolving in milk. This marriage be the leaves and fruit of a date tree. This marriage be women laughing together for days on end. This marriage, a sign for us to study. This marriage, beauty. This marriage, a moon in a light blue sky. This marriage, this silence fully mixed with spirit. given a glass that has the fountain of the sun inside, a friend in both worlds, like the fragrance of amber inside the fragrance of musk. My soul parrot gets excited with sweetness, wing beats, a door opening in the sun. You've seen the market where they sell cooked heads. That's what this is, a way of seeing beyond inner and outer. A donkey wanders the sign of Taurus. Heroes do not stay lined up in ranks for very long. I set out for Tabriz, even though my boat is anchored here. Some souls have gotten free of their bodies. Do you see them? Open your eyes for those who escape to meet with other escapees, whose hearts associate in a way they have of leaving their false selves to live in a truer self. I don't mind if my companions wander away for a while. They will come back like a smiling drunk. The thirsty ones die their thirst. The nightingale sometimes flies from a garden to sing in a forest. Love comes sailing through and I scream. Love sits beside me like a private supply of itself. Love puts away the instruments and takes off the silk robes. Our nakedness together changes me completely. <laughs> <laughs> 